Hey guys, uh, Mr. Frogger here. Just got to do a quick Chaos Elemental solo guide. Oh, there's a white dot over there. That's quite scary. I don't know what he's doing. Whatever. Um, <laughs> so what you want to do is get to this location. The Chaos Elemental spawns around there. You can wander around all over this place. But yeah, you're going to run here. You're probably going to lure him here on your way over here. And then, all you're going to do is simply get his attention. You don't have to attack him. Just make sure he notices you. You should have me now. Yep, that's a teleport. Red spells a teleport, which is really annoying. Just get behind your tree, your trusty tree of safety. Wait till he's at a good angle to turn off protect from uh, magic, because at certain angles he can attack you behind you. But once you've got him lured, all you're going to do is attack, hide behind the tree, wait for his HP bar to go, that's the timing for it, and then attack and get ready. Uh, get right, ugh, get out of there, that's what I'm trying to say. And that's it, really. I'll do this kill, then I'll show you me luring him again on a different world. You're going to log in between kills, because the respawn for this boss is like 3 minutes or 5 minutes or something. And that's way too long, so you just top worlds, starting where I am now. Sometimes you can be on this side, and he'll be attacking you immediately. That isn't really a problem, you can just run to this side of the tree, and that will lure him as well. Um, it's just great. I'd say you get between uh, 10 and 15 kills an hour here. Which isn't a lot, to be honest, but uh, it's quite a fun thing to do. You can like chat in your clan chat or something while doing it. You don't have to put much attention to it. Um, you don't have to attack him like every time it goes down. You've got like a full 30 seconds or something before he loses aggression. So um, the timing isn't intense either. You only have to do it like pixel per well, you know, within the millisecond if you want to be like super efficient, get the most kills per hour. But it's not a big deal. Um, the best setup for this is full Daryx in terms of kills per hour at 1 HP, but uh, that is scary because um, you can mess up the, the thing. If I click there by accident, then he'll attack me and he can hit like 30s and uh, PKs can come and kill you and every time you lure him you're at risk of getting hit by him, so you'll have to eat up in between each kill. So Daryx is kind of annoying to use. Uh, I much prefer AGS with uh, two good other items that you're going to keep if you get killed, which I choose to be the Fury and the Bowser's Gloves, just because they give like the best offensive bonuses. <coughs> and then we want some uh, cheap prayer gear. You can wear like monk's robes, Prozolite prosil armor, just whatever you fancy. And yeah, I recommend bringing super attack and strength because it'll speed up kills massively. He has really high defense. Um, he's technically weak to stab, but because attack speed is redundant, because uh, you, you attack every set time, like regardless of fast, how fast your weapon is, um, I prefer Godsword over the Haster, because like each hit hits a lot harder, and uh, it's got a 150 slash bonus, so even though he's weak to stab, you're going to hit pretty accurately with the Godsword. I uh, definitely recommend putting your private friends. If a PK team comes and like fails to kill me, or kills me, then I come back later. They're probably going to add me, and like hot worlds to find me here. So uh, yeah, just be safe. Also, if you're like in a popular clan, don't tell people you're at the Chaos Elemental, because uh, there's always one guy that thinks he's going to come PK you. <laughs> uh, kind of ignoring that guy for now while I do the video. I'll get, I'll get to him, don't worry about it. This kill's taken quite a long time, I didn't spec. I'm going to pot up and spec the next one for lols, because uh, AGS specs are fun. Uh, another reason I like using the AGS here with good prayer gear is that it's less like you're going to get smited, and plus you're risking three good items. I always uh, bring three good items rather than four, and that way if you get like a dragon pickaxe or a dragon two hander or anything valuable, you can protect that item, and if you get killed you're going to keep the good item that you lured and just lose your shitty armor. Uh, with that said, if you get a good item, I recommend banking immediately just to be on the safe side. So here's the kill. Okay, as soon as not terrible. Oh, one important thing I didn't really go into yet. You, like contrary to popular belief, you want to have one inventory slot open at all times, and this is because he has attack that removes your weapon from your equipment into your inventory. Well, he removes like all equipment, but if you've only got one side, it's always the weapon. And when he does that, that means he's not using his teleport or his other attack. So, it's the best out of the three options, really. And it makes luring a hell of a lot easier because he doesn't teleport you all over the place and deal huge damage. So, uh, before you hop, I recommend potting up and stuff. 
So you're just ready in case he's like right on top of you when you spawn. Then just pick a random world. Typically you want to go for a low population world because, uh, you know, there might be PKs and stuff on the high population worlds. And he's right there. That's perfect. I've got the wrong quick prayers on, but whatever. <laughs> he was in such a great position that I didn't even have to uh, get hit once. Um, you can like spawn like really wide over to the west, and that you just have to go and find them. If you're really good with the timing, you can like click attack before the HP bar fades, and like by the time you reach them, it'll fade, and that's perfect timing. But that's hella risky, and I just kind of was a derp for trying it there, and it worked though, but whatever. Um, yeah, I'm just camping this for the Chaos Elemental Pet. If you watch my other videos, you might know I'm going for one of every boss drop item. I've already had the Dragon Pickaxe and the Dragon Two-Hander. I'll put those in a vid uh, soon, I guess. But uh, no pet yet, so I'm just going to camp this for a while. And uh, it's quite fun to camp, honestly. It's just uh, very relaxed, like, you can watch YouTube. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Misclicked and he teleported me. So you want to get back behind your tree as soon as possible. You really should put quick prayers for protect from magic. Uh, might as well keep protect out on, I guess. I don't usually, but I just have it on anyway, so I might as well, just in case PK is gone. Uh, protect magic because that's what his, he uses, and it also has a nice side effect if like, someone comes to barrage you, you can protect from magic from them. Now, I didn't tell you how you can get to this spot the fastest. Uh, there's two really good methods. One is the level 90 Ancient Magic's Teleport, which I can't do because I'm a low magic noob. And the second option that I use is just the Edgeville Lever. That'll take you... let me hit one more time and I'll show you the map. Or your map, so useful. Um, that will take you to that area there. So you'll just cut the web, run over here, doesn't take long to get here. Um, level 90 Magic takes you to this demonic runes here. And just run to the gate and run here. So uh, there's not much difference between the time of them, but the level 90 is a bit better. Um, for banking, uh, I just run to the lever bit, which is kind of risky because you get PKs uh, quite often. I just hover over the logger button. If I see any white dot, I don't even bother looking at like what level they are or anything. I just quickly log out. Just it's not worth it. <laughs> but then you run the risk of logging back into a PK like on top of you. So uh, it is kind of risky. Another option is just to safely walk to level 30, will they use a glory to uh, tell you to Edgeville or a Slayer Ring. Slayer Rings are good because they're so cheap to make and they work at level 30 world. Or you can run all the way to 20 world and use a house teleport tab. But uh, I just prefer the lever because typically I'm not risking much. As I said, I'm free iteming. I can use protect item to protect any valuable loot I get. The only thing that would suck is an elite clue because I believe that like everything keeps over that. I think if I got a Lily Clue today, I'd drop like all my armor <laughs> just and then protect from item. And maybe just suicide on the boss at that point since I'm not really taking anything back. Although I don't know. You do get like quite valuable drops like dragon daggers, antidotes, just uh, some runes and stuff. It does add up a bit, so maybe I wouldn't drop all my shit. Um, he drops a lot of bones, so um, if you wanted to camp here like infinitely, for whatever reason, I'd recommend bringing the Saradum and God Sword and like a few Bones of the Peaches tabs because he drops like bones, baby dragon bones, uh, bat bones, normal dragon bones, he drops a lot of bones and you could probably heal whatever damage you take while luring him like in between kills just from the bone drops once you get good at the luring and stuff so yeah that's, that's an option although it's probably not a good one because uh, you don't really want to stay here forever because the more you stay here the more loot you get and then the more risk you have when you get PK'd. <coughs> it is quite a surprisingly popular PK position, uh, location rather. I see like new PK teams here all the time and it's... <laughs> they rarely kill me because they're so new, like you get level 70s and stuff, it's kind of weird but uh, it's just weird how popular it is. I've never seen a Chaos Animal killer while I've been here, but I've seen like 10 PK teams I have no idea what they're doing. They're just looking for one person that's killing it, which happens to be me. <laughs> Whatever. It's fun. That's, uh, I think I've said already. I like bringing a God Sword and stuff set up just because when they do try PKU, you might be able to get a cheeky smack on one of them. And as they're level 70s, I've actually one hit one with an AGS before. 
which was kind of funny. But uh, yeah, don't expect to win the fights. What I do if I see PKs is I immediately just run to the lever, remove all my armor, protect from magic, just so they can't uh, barrage me and stuff. And if they do get close and I get barraged and stuck, I'll make fucking sure that they've attacked me before so I don't skull. Because uh, sometimes they're quite clever and they'll try and get the skull on you. Like one will attack you, then it's someone with the exact same setup will stand next to you. And then, uh, yeah, you just have to be really careful. Um, yeah, <laughs> don't attack people that haven't attacked you. It's pretty obvious, but um, there are clever tricks that can get you out. <clears throat> Uh, I, I suppose I'll just finish off this kill and then I'll end the video. There's not really much more to say. Um, okay, one thing is the boss spawn. Well, the boss wanders everywhere, and since you're logging into New Worlds, you can be anywhere. Like, in a huge radius. I'll go on the map and show you. You can be from basically over here to over here, including this bit, I think. So, uh, if he is in here, what I do is I just log out and find the new world because it's so easy to find the new world that has a good spawn. Um, it's not impossible to get them out. All you have to do is just run there and then run all the way down and then run like west and finally get him here. But uh, he's going to get a few smacks on you. He'll probably teleport you. It'll be really annoying. And as I said, it's so easy just to find another world and get a good spawn. So I just prefer to log out. It's up to you, but um, yeah, that's just my personal preference. By the way, this isn't the only lure spot you can use. There are a few trees. Any small tree like this one can be used. There's one up there, and sometimes when he spawns or one is around there, um, it's it's good to use that one. I'll I'll run up and show you where it is. Uh, blood dunes. I just saw the red, and I thought that was like a dragon pickaxe for a second. <laughs> kind of disappointed. Although honestly, I'm just going off the pair now, more than anything. The pickaxe is only four mil. I think I said already this isn't great money per hour, but this is uh, one of the lure places that you're going to be um, sometimes because very uh, kind of rarely I guess but he, sometimes he's over here and you just stand behind this tree um, I believe there are like two or three more somewhere but uh, I only ever use these two just because they're it's easy to lure behind these two and like no matter where he is it's uh, you can get him behind these two um, the big trees do not count they don't lure him well well at all so uh, yeah just keep that in mind two small trees uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope this was helpful. Um, goodbye! Oh, by the way, I got a new mouse. If you've been watching the channel, you know I've had bad mouse. This mouse is awesome! I'm really excited about it. <laughs> PK videos coming soon when I can be bothered to get Nightfall Mage. Woo!